Hey guys, we here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And as you can see, you guys, I have a HP laptop, and this particular HP laptop, as with this guide, can apply to any HP device. And of course, in case you want to know which model this is, it will be in the description. All right. So this is a general guide for HP. Now, as you can see here, this is the back of the device, the front. And of course, the issue with this particular laptop is that the keys right here are actually not functional. So this keyboard is. Uh, damage so we gotta replace this so this guy is to show you how to change the keyboard so this should be a simple enough tutorial so let's get straight into it and the first thing you need to do guys is check out the model number of your laptop once you check the model number just go ahead and of course you can find the model number either written on the front if not just basically check the back there should be somewhere around here all right guys so you can find the model number written on the back so if you look carefully if you can't find it anywhere it should be along here Alright, so of course I'll also place it on the screen as well. Alright, so let's go straight into it. So the first thing you want to do guys is turn over the laptop, make sure it's off, so make sure it's powered down. Um, if it has a removable battery, go ahead and remove the battery. So in the case here, I'm just going to remove this particular battery. Alright, so removing the battery does the um, laptop the added protection that no power is actually being delivered. So you can place this aside. For safety concerns all right you'll get a screwdriver once you get your screwdriver you can look for a special screw now, of course each screw is labeled but there should be one particular one for the keyboard now if i look around here very carefully i should be able to find it and let us give me a second as i search all right so if you look around here guys check this out you should see uh indication that there's a symbol that shows a keyboard just let me just come in very close so look this should be the symbol for the keyboard meaning that this screw holds the keyboard in place you do not remove it the keyboard will not be able to lift so let's go ahead and remove it all right so we're gonna go ahead and remove this screw should be quite easy few screw returns and it will be removed turn it over and remove the screw itself and as you can see here the screw has been removed so we'll put this aside next we're gonna open this up and once you open it up guys you're gonna notice that on the other side here there should be um, the keyboard now the keyboard will lift right up but you'll have to actually get something to get into the grooves i recommend that you get something blunt um i'll get two tools or a few tools and show you some of them that will actually work all right guys so here i have a laptop tool set as you can see here there's this blunt um tool right in here uh, this one should work quite fine for um, removing opening up the display so let's get to it um, here's the one but of course this one is from a watch home set this is a blunt um, instrument so you don't want to work always best to use something that's authorized which is this that's designed for opening up very narrow stuff so check this out guys i'm just gonna go ahead right here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lift so you notice i've gotten between the grooves so let's make sure you check this out so what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to take my time and i'm gonna lift around the keyboard right here it will take a few attempts but just notice that the keyboard starts to lift and what i'm going to do i'm going to work my way across and you can hear the portions snapping and i'm just going to lift straight across making sure that you get um between the grooves the key is to remove the tabs at the top right here so as you go along they should fly you can hear them um, being removed so i'm just going to carefully lift don't force it simply get between the grooves or when you're at each major junction simply apply the tool there you go so the trick is to get each junction when you reach the stage do not just yank out the keyboard you're going to lift and look behind the keyboard now look right here guys on the under underside you'll notice um, this ribbon here um, the trick here is to lift the ribbon and the ribbon itself will lift right up all right so the, lip, the ribbon uh, will be removed once the ribbon is removed you should notice that it will slide right out so once it slides right out we're going to lift up the entire keyboard and there you go so check this out guys this is the old keyboard right here Notice this hole right here is the screw that was removed from the back. So make sure you remove that screw from the back or this will not be removed. All right. Um, 
the ribbon cable is right here this is what allows contact with the um, laptop itself so button presses and so on will be translated into the laptop and of course this is the whole damaged keyboard we're gonna remove this and place it aside now very important you'll actually actually need to go online and purchase um, a replacement keyboard this one was purchased from Amazon and let me just go ahead and open this up <clears throat> this is brand new sealed Alright, check this out. So this is the new keyboard. It comes in this protective wrap. And uh, of course this was pre-matched. Uh, you get some bubble wrap right here. This is the new unused keyboard. And check it out guys. It matches the old one perfectly. I could actually show you these side by side. So check this out. So it's a one-to-one -one match. You can see basically this one is turned this way, I'll be turning the right way. There you go. So everything should be a perfect match. So what I'm gonna do next is just simply um, switch this out. I'm gonna put the whole one over here. All right, that's a few notes guys. Make sure that when you're removing the ribbon cable that you lift this flap right here. The black section, you just need to pick. It's down like this, meaning it's locked. You're gonna pick up and it will lift up releasing the um the ribbon cable that will slide in so when you put in the new ribbon cable you're going to press it down I meaning it's going to lock it in place all right so let's get the um, keyboard right here check this out guys this is the new keyboard right here um just in case let's check it out keyboard. all right so check this out it's very flexible so don't try to bend it or anything on the back you'll see that it has the same basic design with the screw all right in place and of course here we have the ribbon cable right over here and for safety purposes this um, seller has actually sealed this one so in case of this being sealed you'll need to carefully remove this section this tape is not very sticky so it should not damage the ribbon cable so let me just remove this carefully Never use force, always be as gentle as possible. These ribbons become damaged. This keyboard is gonna become useless. So let me just remove this. And there you go. Perfect. So what you're gonna do now is simply get the keyboard. We're gonna set it right here. And once we um, set this section right here, next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this in place. So do forgive me, you'll have to watch very carefully. Um, now what I'm going to do now guys is just simply slide this in if you need to simply give yourself some working room let me go again alright guys so check this out once it's in it should slide all the way in and once you're sure it's um, secure press down the black section at the front it should slide all the way down and make a perfect connection and snap in fully now check this out guys, um, if you're sure, if you want to be sure, just simply pull on it once it's slightly, once it's in, make sure it's flush, and then what you're going to do next is you're going to slide the keyboard in. If you want to, you can actually test this before um, snap it in, snapping it in fully. Um, as for me, I think I'm almost 100% sure. I'm just going to double check my work. Alright, so I'm sure, so I'm just going to um, close this up. And check this out all you gotta do to snap it in place is simply um, press down start from the sides and work your way up when you reach the top up here simply go across um, the snapping section should be a little bit harder but they'll snap in so simply just go across and press down and go straight across and there you go just watch out for the main um, points should be um, evenly along here and simply press down and make sure everything is flush there you go all right guys just a few notes um when the keyboard is in if you're having the issue where you're not getting anything typed simply um 
just do the following you can actually have work if you're skilled enough you can actually work with the laptop while it's open i do not recommend this for every case though um just a few pointers make sure on the back end here just check it out guys make sure that you make sure that the cable is all the way in or the ribbon cable so make sure that you push it all the way in there and i'll just show you what i mean in a minute if i can find my handy dandy uh, flashlight right here so just give me a second and there you go guys sure that is much clearer but if you check out that ribbon cable here make sure it's all the way in um it would require that you put you um place it and um apply just a little bit of pressure to get it all the way up in there and make sure that you close the black clamp on the other side and once you're satisfied that it's in you can go ahead and um, fit back um, up the laptop however if you're not sure um you could try this method where the laptop is booted up and here i'm just testing it out now and as you see there i'm pressing keys and they're working and so on um if you want to do it that method but while you're working on the inside be very careful as if you touch anything on the inside you might try something out so this method is not recommended although it can be done all right so i'm just gonna um, check my work and refit everything and slide back in the keyboard all right guys once the keyboard is in just make sure you check your work make sure that everything is in do the sides first and then the top section last and of course everything should be flush i remember the screw on the underside i remember to replace the battery as i'm about to do right now all right guys so it's as simple as um sliding the screw back in and tightening the screw and then of course securing the um battery the final test guys is the typing test simply um just go ahead and power up all right guys got time for a quick typing test at the um login screen let's check this out um it's gonna eat the letters let me just reveal the letters here um just to show you that um the keyboard is working as you can see here as i type down here let's check out the corresponding um letters appearing on the keyboard if i hit um enter it should say that it's incorrect password and all that i can hit um escape key there you go it was responding quite fine and if i hit the num numeric um number pad you see the values going in and if i hit space you see that it's registering so of course the password is working just fine everything is perfect and that's a successful hp laptop um, keyboard install this applies to any um, hp laptop if you have any questions ask them below this has been ricardo gardner showing you how to change the keyboard on a hp laptop it's ricardo saying bye until next time bye